give me a second. Hopefully the brother is ready. Just give us a few seconds, just one second. Yalla. And you are here, this is the first time coming to the park? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm half English, half Indian. Half English, half Indian. Yeah. Is your father Indian or the other way around? I'm not huh? I'm not Indian. Okay. Okay. Rolling. Yes? Rolling. All right. You said that you are a Christian, yes? Yeah. Like, are you convinced with the Christianity the totality or you have maybe something, that, some comment, something that doesn't make sense to you, etc.? To me, I'm convinced. Okay. You believe Jesus was God? Yeah. I believe in the Trinity. Okay, in the Trinity. Did Jesus believe in the Trinity? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Now, you said you believe in the Trinity. Now, the question is, if you go and study Christianity, for example, and you read the Bible, do you think Jesus said to the people, I am God, worship me? No, but he says that, he, uh, I think in the Bible he claims that he and the Father is one. Are they, are they one in purpose or are they one in essence? In, in both, I think. So if they are one in essence, but he said the Father is greater than I, how come if the Father is greater than him to be one? So they are... He the, limited himself. No, listen I'm to this. Sure no, no, no. My, my point is so simple. When he said, me and the Father are one, did he mean they are one in purpose or did he mean that they are one in essence? Spirit. One second, I'm, I can't talk to too many people. I, I, I will discuss with you, just give me, let me finish with him, yeah? 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 Okay, so if he said that they are one in terms of, in terms of essence, he said, the Father is greater than I, he said, the only true God is the Father. Based on this, how they are one in essence. So then in that case, no problem to say, yes, they are one in purpose. No problem. But to say in essence, with this concept that he has said, which is the statement that he was said. Are you okay, brother? Okay. Yeah? So that's why... <laughs> I don't know, that's, uh, that's sometimes so, so that's why we go back to, if we go to his wording, then yes, no problem to say yes, they are one in purpose, meaning whatever, and actually the context of that serves the same, the same purpose, the same concept, which means, yes, whatever Jesus said to the people is exactly what God wants them to say. I, I, I'm not addressing you, sir. Sir, can you please... Be quiet. Thank you. Let me finish. I will. I will discuss with you. I have no. No problem. You could disagree everywhere, but let me finish this, please. Yeah. Are you? Are you Sunni okay. No. No. We. 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 Sunnis. We Muslim Sunnis. So. So based on the on the things that Jesus has said, exactly. If you want, brother, Sheikh Bala, maybe the brother he needs he wants some discussion. He likes you know. But you could have a discussion with him. Yeah. 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 So you you could do uh, what you share. <laughs> so that's easier for, for us. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. So, uh, if you can, uh, Sheikh, Sheikh, give us some distance because we don't want this. Yeah. Yeah. So focus, focus on the things that I'm saying. Then in that case, going back to the point that yes, the are one in terms of purpose. Whatever Jesus command the people is exactly what God command the people. Whatever Jesus brought to the people to worship the one God is that. And actually, if you go through the teachings of Jesus, he said to the people, I'm going. When the people, they were in a dilemma, they were, they were saying, what is the Jesus, what's, what he's doing here? And then he said, oh, Israel, oh, people of Israel, our Lord is one. So he said, even they used the term, the term Achad, actually, which is in the Old Testament, said by Moses, peace be upon him, that our Lord is Ahad, Ahad. And actually, if you read, if you find the Quran, the Quran as well, going along with this, talking about the oneness of God, and Allah says in the Quran, Qul huwa Allahu Ahad, say Allah is Ahad. The same term that was used by Moses, the same term that was used by Jesus, and Ahad in Arabic means one and absolute, meaning there is no one sharing his oneness with him. Yeah, God. So if Jesus has a God, Jesus worshiped the God, 
Jesus showed us how to worship the God. Then in that case, how come some people put him in a status of God where he himself never claimed to be divine, never claimed to be God himself? In fact, he was saying to the people, the only true God is the Father. He was saying to the people, we worship one true, one God, one and absolute. He was saying all of this, all of these clear statements by Jesus, confirming the oneness of God. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, having knowing this, we as Muslims, we believe in Jesus, peace be upon him. We believe he is a prophet of God, sent by God. He is one of the mightiest prophets of God, one of them. The five mightiest prophets of God are Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad, peace be upon all of them. Those are the, the best of the prophets and messengers of God. We believe in him as a prophet and messenger of God. But we don't put him above his level to say he is God. And we don't say he is like what the Jews said about him, he's a bastard. We don't say this. We say he is, he is sent, he was sent by God and he was sent for one purpose, calling the people to worship God and God alone. Does that make sense to you? It does make sense. Now, if I prove to you Islam is the truth, yeah. will you accept to be Muslim today? Not today. I'm saying the truth to be embraced, am I right? Yeah. Yeah? So if I prove to you, not to my sense, if it makes sense to you now. Yeah, if, if it makes sense to me, I would, I would, I would convert. You'll accept? Yeah. Okay, but, good. But it would take, it, would, it wouldn't be just a discussion with you because also when I talk to Christians, no. they have also answers. I, I understand. Right. I understand. We'll, we'll, we'll come to the point. We'll come to the point. Yeah. By the way, by the way, all any, any ideology, they will have certain things, they will have, you know, even even the even the people who, who used to debate with the, the one who wanted to kill Jesus, peace be upon him, those ones, the same ones, they, they, they disagree with him. It doesn't mean if you find, if the disciples of Jesus, they said, oh, let, let us go and speak to the Jews or let us speak to the Romans to discuss the other point of view about Jesus. They didn't think, they, they knew this is the truth, they followed the truth. The followers of Jesus, they just follow the truth. That's how it is. So my point is, the truth to be embraced. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. So as soon if it, and if Islam made sense to you, yeah. you will accept to be Muslim. Made sense to you. What's your name, by the way? Trey. Trey. My name is Muhammad. So if Islam made sense to Trey, Trey will accept Islam. Simple as that. If Islam didn't make sense to him, you will not accept Islam. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Now, having with our discussion, we know that the teachings of Jesus, teaching people to worship the one God, yes? The teaching of Moses and Jesus, worshiping one God, not associate with God and the partners, not to make image of God, yeah? And not to worship the images as, they, as the, what we said in the commandments. All of these things tells us the concept of God is one and we have to worship this one God and we should not associate with this God and the partners, yes? Good. And as well from the teachings of Moses and Jesus, peace be upon both of them, that to follow the guidance of the prophets and the messengers of God, which means how they worship, we worship God in the same way that they worship God, yes? Like Moses, he worshiped God, like Jesus, peace be upon him. You see Jesus, he bowed, he prostrated to God. You know, he did this, you know, to honor God. He, he was teaching people how to worship this one God. Am I right? Yeah. So that was the teaching of Jesus. So none of his teaching telling people him to be worshiped, None of his teaching telling the people that to put him above his status. And you'll find in his teaching actually affirms that he was sent by God to convey the message of God to the people. Am I right? Yeah. Which means he's a prophet and messenger of God, according to this definition. Yeah? Yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Now, we have, I will, I will use this analogy. Yeah? The Quran were revealed after Jesus, peace be upon him. Yeah? yeah? yeah. 600 and something years. Yeah. The Quran, which came by Muhammad. Now here, which means me and you, me and Trey, we believe in one God. Yes. We believe that Jesus was sent by God. Yes. Both me and you, we believe in this. Me and you, we believe in, in Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, they are prophets, messengers of God. They were sent by God. Yeah. And they came to convey the message of God to the people. Yes. We are on one page. Me and you, we believe in the hereafter and we'll be judged according to our deeds. If we did righteous deeds, we're gonna be judged in the day of judgment. The only thing is the Trinity. That the Trinity. We said to you, hey, that's why I said to you, the Trinity, that's the issue. You don't find, as I mentioned to you, if you read the Bible, you don't find the, 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 the concept of the Trinity endorsed, actually, in the, in, the, in the New Testament. Rather than, you'll find more about Jesus saying to the people to repent, 
for example, according to the Christian nowadays, yeah, what they believe, they believe. Actually, if you believe in Trinity, basically your, your sins will be, your, you will gain the salvation, yeah? But actually you'll find Jesus was saying to the people, do the righteous deeds, repent. A sinner came to him and he said to her, he said to her repent. He was telling people to repent, which means to repent to, to God, to the Creator. He didn't say, to, wait, wait, wait. When I die on the cross, your sins will be, will be, will be erased. He said to them to repent. So he was advising people to repent, he was advising people to seek forgiveness from God. That's his advice. So that was his teaching. You understand? So that's, that's why it's kind of, you know, the concept of the Trinity kind of dismantled in a way from if we go, if we study the teaching of Jesus, it doesn't support this. Where in fact, it supports the other way around in the Old Testament. Throughout the Old Testament, talking about the oneness of God, worshiping this one God, to make image of God, to worship man, don't you worship a human being? God is not a flesh. All of these things, you know, talking about the concept of the oneness of God. Yeah. Now, Islam, which I say came after Jesus, and what is what is remain? If Muhammad was a prophet sent by God, that means Islam is the truth. Yes. Yeah. That's the, that's the concept. And if Islam is the truth, if, you, if it made sense to you, yeah, then in that case, you, Trey, will accept Islam. That's what we, that's what our agreement, yes? Now, Trey, we said to you Islam was revealed 1400 years ago. Now, and the only religion on earth recognizes Jesus as a prophet and messenger of God is Islam. Yeah? And the only religion giving the respect to Jesus, other than Christianity, respecting Jesus is Islam. There is no religion on earth, yeah, other than Christianity. Christianity, but they worship Jesus. Where Islam, we still respect Jesus. We give him a status which we believe is deserved. He is a prophet sent by God. Yes. Now, now we will ask three three questions, three fundamental questions. Either Islam or Quran, and Islam based on the Quran. Yes. If the, if the Quran is the word is either the word of God or it was inspired by the devil, yes, or it was the work of Muhammad, peace be upon him. He was, you know, he, he was set down and then he put, he put the things up, yeah? Either it was made up by Muhammad, peace be upon him, or it was inspired by God, sorry, by the devil, or it was inspired by God, yes? Is there any other option? So if we prove that the Quran definitely is not inspired by the devil, Definitely is not the work of Muhammad, peace be upon him. So it will be from what? It will be from just from God. From God. So if Islam came from God, then Trey will accept Islam. Yes? yes? That was the agreement. Going back. Let's read the Quran first. You'll find in the Quran, if it was inspired by the devil, you'll find in numerous verses in the Quran cursing the devil. Not one, many places. And actually, we as Muslims, whenever we read the Quran, we have to say what? What do we have to say? Louder. What's the meaning of this? I seek refuge in God from the outcast devil. Yeah? Which means you are seeking refuge in God. You, are, you want the protection of God to protect you from the whispers of the devil. Whenever we read the Quran and the devil, Throughout the Quran, throughout the Quran, the devil is being cursed in the Quran, and Allah in the Quran warning us against the devil, warning us into failing, for in failing to follow the footsteps of the devil, and as well. Now here, if it's inspired by the devil, do you think the devil will be cursed all these times in the Quran about him if he he is the one who inspires it? In fact, he has to show the good man. In it, yeah, he has to show there is a, actually there is a new uh, there is a new series or something, you know, a, a cartoon or something talking about the devil was an angel. He was nice and good, and people they you know he was oppressed by the god, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Lucifer. Yeah, they want to put him. He is the good man, and yeah. everyone. Yeah, you understand. So, so that's so the Quran has to if if that if it was if it was uh, you know. Uh, 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 you know, revealed or it was inspired by the devil, that's how it should be. Where in fact, the devil all the time, we are being criticized, being not just, sorry, being cursed in the Quran, all the time we have, whenever we read the Quran, we have to seek refuge in God from the outcast devil. And actually, what is the work of the devil? 
What is the work of the devil? To direct us to worship what? Deceive. And to direct us to direct us to worship the idols and the things and the images and all of these things. Now the question is, if you read the Quran and you study the Quran, does this serve this purpose, the purpose of the devil, if it was inspired by the devil? I haven't read the Quran, but it seems like no. Definitely not. I'm saying to you, if you read it, I'm, I'm saying to you, many, many places in the Quran, Allah says, uh, yeah, uh, cursing the devil. Alhamdulillah, <laughs> Yeah, cursing the devil again and again. Allah told us in the Quran, whenever we recite the Quran, seek refuge in God from the outcast devil. The Quran is directing us to worship the one God. And in relation to Jesus, yeah, the Quran is praising Jesus. The Quran putting Jesus a status that he deserves. Jesus is mentioned 25 times in the Quran, where Muhammad is mentioned also a few times compared to Jesus. The mother of Jesus, there's a whole chapter of the Quran talking about Mary, the mother of Jesus, where the mother of Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not even mentioned at all in the Quran. We believe the mother of Muhammad, peace be upon him, she died as a pagan. Do you understand? Do you understand? So here, if it was the work of devil, it should be the other way around. Am I right? Yeah. So it's definitely is not the work of the devil. Yes? You agree? Next step. Now, if the Quran was the work of Muhammad, meaning he, he brought up this Quran, he brought it to the people, and this is the work of Muhammad, peace be upon him. Suppose this, yeah? You know, he, he made it up, he put things together, and he made it up. Now, let's, let's see. If it was the work of Muhammad, peace be upon him, yeah? You know that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he was criticized by God in the Quran. God criticized him. In certain occasion, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, one day he was debating or discussing with, uh, with, with the pagans and then they made him angry and then they left. As soon as they left, a blind man, a believer, came in when he's a blind. And he came in the time, in the moment that the Prophet, peace be upon him, was angry. And Allah has criticized him and he said, Abbas it means that you show grumpy face and you turn your back. Saying to the Prophet, peace be upon him. And he said, why, why don't you, this person is better in the sight of Allah from all of these people that you were discussing with. So the question is, if it was the work of Muhammad, will he criticize himself in a book that has been recited by nowadays two billion Muslims on earth, and not just only, we recite it loudly, like in open, in, the, in Mecca, three million people attending, and someone is reciting, and three million behind him, praying, saying, reciting this verse. So do you think, if it was the, his work, do you think he will be criticizing himself in the book that he, he brought to the people? It doesn't make sense. Adding to this, that if he was about worldly matter or something like this, you will find in the Quran supporting the idea to put Muhammad, to worship Muhammad, to give him, a, you know, something. In fact, the Quran, throughout the Quran, directing the people to worship this one God. And as well, for us as well, as Muslims, we as Muslims, we have to believe in all the prophets and messengers of God, and we don't distinguish between any of all of them. We respect them, we honor them, we love them the same. That's how it is. So if it was the work of Muhammad, it should be something else. Am I right? So what we end with what? So it's not uh, the of Muhammad. It's not the devil. devil. Then who? From what? That's, <laughs> a, that's what your point is. Yeah. I, I'm here. Does it make sense to you? Yeah, it makes sense. Adding to this, that the Quran is not a science book, but the Quran has scientific facts. Facts, beyond any doubt. Now, Muhammad, peace be upon him, he was an illiterate man. Illiterate man. Lived 1400 years ago. Do you know what means illiterate? Unable to read and write. Which means he doesn't have access to the science of his time, let alone, let alone the science that yet to come years after him. Yeah? So the Quran, for example, talking about one of the one of the things. What is the deepest point any diver could dive 1400 years ago? What is the deepest point? Anyone go go to the ocean? What is the deepest point? How many meters? 20, you've been to the sea? Yeah. Can someone free diving like 20, 30 meters, whatever? Let's say 30 meters, yeah? Can he dive deep in the ocean there? No. No. 
Is it possible for someone to give to tell us information what's happening in the deep of the ocean at that time, 1400 years ago? Impossible. So, listen to this, and that's mind-blowing actually. Now, Allah has said in the Quran, those who are away from the guidance of God, like someone who's deep in the bottom of the sea or the ocean, above him there is a wave, above the wave there is another wave, above the sea there is a cloud. Even if he took his hand out of his pocket, he will be unable to see it. Darkness upon darkness, and whomever God doesn't give him light, guidance, he will be not guided. So, in the nutshell, when there is, when the sunlight comes to the earth, and if there's a cloudy weather like today, they said nearly 40% of the sunlight will be reflected back. And only 60% will go through. Yes? That's what the science they say. Now, if there is, if there is water, if there is waves on the surface of the water, what does the wave does to the, to the light? Did you, did you, do you know any, any physics or something? So the light breaks, sorry, the waves breaks the light. So that's why if, if, uh, if the surface of the sea was plain, then the, then the light could go deeper, yes? But if, it's, if, there, uh, if there are or, or there is some uh, waves on the surface of the sea, the waves breaks the light. Everyone is able to appreciate the waves and could see the waves. But now here, and this is nearly 50% of this, will be will, will will break due to the surface waves and only half of that will go through yes now half of that if there is deep in the ocean we discovered recently we discovered recently another types of waves which is called the sea current yes yeah and this only discovered recently and the sea currents they travel they travel in under the sea by waves yeah so that's sea current. And actually they found in some oceans, there is a sea under a sea. There is a sea under a sea. So there is a sea, and underneath there is another sea with different uh, salt, with the, you know, amount with different humidity, with, the, sorry, with different uh, temperature, etc. And it's like a layer, like another sea. So and if it has waves, or that sea current has waves, yeah, it breaks whatever remains of the light. So and deep in the ocean, if someone take, took his hand out of his pocket, stare at it like this, he will be unable to see it. Pitch dark, absence of light. Now the question is to you, Trey. The question is to you, Trey. Who taught Muhammad about this fact? Good. Is it only example? Many examples. Embryology, the development of the fetus in the womb of the mother, how it developed inside the womb. A detailed one mentioned in the Quran. Who taught Muhammad about this fact? If you look, God. Now, what was our agreement, Trey, in the beginning? Yeah. If it's if Islam made sense to you, yeah. you will accept Islam. If I thought it was the truth, though. No, you said if if. Yeah, but I said I will also go and research. Then I not say I will go back and I will. No, I won't by the way, right now. No, we did that. No, that, our agreement was that like that. Our agreement. If it made sense to you, if Islam was the truth, I would say to you the truth to be embraced. It doesn't matter. And, and yeah, if I thought it was the truth, I would, I would embrace it. 100%. What I told you, was it the truth? Yeah, but obviously one conversation can't convert me to a whole religion. By the way, it's not the whole religion. You are born in a client to this. You are born in a client to believe in one God. You are born in a client to follow the prophets and messengers of God. You are born with this. Yeah. You are already ready. I mean, you are already prepared. God has already prepared you for this. Because any, any child who's born, born in a client to believe in one God. And we are actually, we are not telling you to leave Jesus. We are telling you to follow Jesus. But how Jesus prayed? How did he pray? Prostrated. Who prays like this? Christians don't pray like this. No. They do. No. We were the first people to pray like that. No, actually, it was initially. Ethiopians don't pray like that now. Yeah, initially, initially, initially the followers of Jesus, yes, they prayed like this. Yeah. But later on, things changed. So. Yeah. Well, we have different types of prayer in the Bible. Like Ethiopians, if you go to Ethiopian church. You, uh, you are, you're not Ethiopian. I mean, you're, you follow the Ethiopian church, no, my point. They're still Christian. No, no the, which, which church do you follow? Uh, not, a, not a nomination. I just believe they should just okay. follow the Bible. Okay. Do you mind yeah. if I just take your audio? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just audio. Just audio. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Now, if you look into the history, by the way, if you look into the history of the Bible, yeah. if you look into the history of the Bible, yeah. that's why the, the problem is the Bible, you know, there is, there, is a, there, is a, there is a big problem actually, that it is lost. The original Bible is not there. Why? Because here, the disciples of Jesus, peace be upon him, they were supposed, to, they, used to, they, were, they should be the, the one who was supposed to write the Bible, yes? Now, if you open any of the Gospels, if you open it, you'll find this Gospel is according to English is your first language, yes? When you say the Gospel of John, when you say the Gospel of John, this Gospel is according to John. Was it written by John? Yeah. No? English, they, they will use, they will use a, 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 you know, a specific tense. So means people, they wrote it according to John, yes? It's not necessarily, it's not the right, otherwise they say, this gospel is written by John. But they didn't say, they said this book is according to John. Meaning there are some ambiguous, vague people who wrote the gospel and they attribute this gospel to John. Yeah. That's in every gospel like that. Adding to this, who is John? They say John, John the disciple, but actually, it's not necessarily the case because we have when you when you look into the Bible you'll find that we have five six people who are named John during the time of Jesus. So which one who wrote the Bible? Which one this person who did it? It's, it's still this the, the the still the problem is about the character of John is still vague because at that time, for example, at that time pe people used to say the name of the person and they will name the father of the person. That's how the Israelites used to name their names. Yes. They say, for example, uh, uh, for example, even Jesus, they call him Jesus, the son of Joseph, the carpenter. Yeah, even though he's not the son of God, but they say this. Yeah. So they call them according to their fathers. Who is the father of John? This person. So then adding to this, when was the first compiled Bible written? Do you, do you know? Do you know the roughly? They said roughly 300 years after Jesus. So, there is a 300 years gap. Gap. They found in the, the second century actually, yeah, they found some patches of the, of some of the Gospels, patches, one page and half page, written in Greek language, yeah. They said for the New Testament. So the question is, if it was the, the Word of God, it should be preserved, am I right? Then in that case, the concept of Trinity, which is based on this, they have they waited until the Council of Nicaea. Do you know about it? Yeah. Meaning, at that time, for nearly 300 years, the church fathers, they didn't the believe in the Trinity as a Trinity, by the way. Some of them believed in, in binary kind of, which is uh, the Father, the Son. But the Trinity as a concept, it was endorsed later on, and it was supported by Constantine, which is, was the king at that time, and then they invited the church fathers and actually imposed, imposed on them to believe in the Trinity. And some of them, they rejected it, they left the gathering, and he chased them and killed them. This is the history of Constantine. He doesn't want people to accept the Trinity. Except, I mean, the, uh, the, 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 the monotheist, the monotheism Christian. So because of this, that's the history. And actually, they had to vote for the doctrine, which means I believe in the Trinity initially, how a, how a faith, how a doctoring of a faith, that the people, they vote for it. How come? If it came from God, it's not left to the people to vote. It's from God, am I right? Then in that case, we end up, my, my friend Trey, actually, we are the only one who actually give Jesus the status that he deserves. We say he's a prophet sent by God. And going back to the point, if it was inspired by the devil, which we, it doesn't support it. If it was done by Muhammad, which doesn't support it, it end up, it should be, it should come from God. If it came from God, then we should embrace it. Am I right, Trey? Yeah. Then, why don't you then embrace the truth and follow the truth? You are not losing Jesus, actually. You are putting Jesus the status that he deserves, which is a prophet sent by God, a, a man of the mightiest prophet and messengers of God, that's the status that he deserved, which made sense. Then everything is like a puzzle, everything lies like the last piece of the puzzle. Am I right, Trey? Yeah, yeah. So, I appreciate you talking to me.
and having this conversation. It makes sense. Okay, I'll go on, you know, keep on talking to people. When you accept it, you can continue your research as well. Islam, Islam is a journey of learning. Mm. We don't say to you, blind follow and just follow. We say to you, what you find the truth, embrace it and do the next step. So it's a journey of learning. It's not, it doesn't stop here. As long as you understood this, and that's simple as that. We said to you, if Quran came from God, that means Muhammad is a prophet of God. Am I right? Mm. So now here, according to what I said to you, does that make sense to you that Muhammad was a prophet sent by God? I, I don't believe it makes sense that he, it makes sense, but I don't believe it yet. Personally, I don't believe it. So how come something that makes sense, but you don't believe? How is that? How this, how you, you brought it together? Well, like for example, like, when you believe in like, it made sense to me, I see you, but I, you know, I pretend that. Because there's also, if I talk to a Christian, they'll also have their side as well. You know, I mean, when I talk to my pastor or when I talk to any of my Christian friends, they also answer questions yes. that I don't understand. If you go to Hindus as well, they will say to you something else. Yeah, but... If you go to Buddhists... My family are Hindu, so when I talk to them, what they tell me doesn't make sense. But when I talk to my Christians, yeah. when they respond to me, it makes sense to me. You know yeah, I mean? that's why, because that's why what they have, what they will use, they will use, I will tell you something, yeah? They will use a source of information which is vague which is not true, not necessarily the truth. Now, for example, to you, Trey, is the, is the Bible preserved as it was said by Jesus? Some people say yes, some people say no. I'm asking Trey, I didn't ask people, uh, I'm asking I, I you. Don't, I'm telling you, I'm not sure, because some people tell me yeah, and then some people tell me no. Okay, let's discuss, let's see, with our own. Now, for example, if, if they are the same, if the four gospel came from one God, and if they were inspired by the same Holy Ghost to the people, they should be the same. Am I right? Yeah. How come they are not the same? I'm not sure. It's a question that I've actually been asking. I will I tell up, you what. Because, uh, because it didn't come from God. Basically, simple as that. Yeah. If it came from God, it has to be the same. One thing. There are pages, pages, like verses in the Bible. They, the Christian, they said, now they said they are not part of the Bible. They took it out. Yeah. You know, like chapters. I'm talking about chapters, totally being gone, yeah? Chapters, pages, verses, they said this is not part of it. And some even, even the concept that the only begotten son, yeah? Begotten son of God about Jesus, peace be upon him. They said this insertion, they will, they will put it in a red line, and underneath they said this insertion to the Bible. It's not in the original one. So that means a book that can, anyone can have access to add, anyone have access to take out. Is this a book that you will lay your your salvation upon it? No, if that's true, no. That's how I'm saying to you here. You read. I'm not bringing my. I'm saying, listen. We may we may be biased as Muslims talking about him about the Bible, yeah. but but see what the Christian scholars said about. I'll, I'll see what the Christian saying and I'll tell you. See here, we will tell you the Christian scholars. They they literally they they, they tarnish actually the Bible mm. because of this. Christian scholars, they say, for example, begotten son. Is only mentioned in the Gospel of John. Yeah? In the other Gospels, not mentioned begotten son. So that means, is this insertion? Or, is, uh, or it was in the original text? I'm asking you. Uh, I'm not sure. No, come on. I mean, you could be not sure about anything. But we have three Gospels. Yeah. None of them said begotten son. Only the Gospel of John talking about begotten son. Mm. That means, this is insertion to the, to the text. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and yet, you believe in the Gospel of John. How come? I see your point. So, so that's why if there is a book, if there is a book, I will, I will put my, I will rely my salvation on the book. Definitely it's not the Bible. Why? Because there is things being added to it, things being deducted, and now, according to you now, not to me, according to Trey, now we see some contradictions. You read in the Gospel of Luke, and the Gospel of Mark, totally contradictions, talking about the story of Mary and the marriage of Mary to the to the Joseph the, Carp the carpenter, totally different thing. Where if it's if it was inspired by the the Holy Ghost, it shouldn't be like this. It shouldn't be these contradictions. Talking about him, you know, he was about to divorce her, or uh, but in the same time, by the way, in the Gospel of Luke, they say they said about Mary, she never knew a man. Yes. Gospel of, sorry, Gospel of Mark, she never knew a man. Gospel of Luke, she was betrothed to, the, to Joseph the carpenter. So if she was betrothed to someone, that means she knew a man. Am I right? Yeah. How is that? 
Do you see this contradiction? Yeah, yeah, I see, I see, I see. So now here, this is the same book that you say you build your salvation on it. Yeah. But where the Quran is one book sent to Muhammad peace be upon him, and it nowadays, nowadays, is there a book on earth? I'm asking you. I'm asking, is there a book on earth that's been memorized, memorized, not just only read, read, written, only memorized? by 15 million people on earth. Is there any book like this? No, just the Quran. Not just that. And each one who memorized the Quran, you trace back the chain of narrators all the way to Prophet Muhammad, which means you could trace it back. There is no way to say, you know, it's not from Muhammad. Some it's, of them don't even speak Arabic. Some of them, they don't speak Arabic. And they, they, some of them as young as five and six years old. And they memorized the whole Quran with vowels. How come? How is that? I'm not sure. You're sure? Inside you, you know, because it came from God. Yeah. Does it make sense to you? It does make sense. It does make so, sense. I've said that from the start. So, so then in that case, Trey, what is the purpose of delaying you to embrace Islam? Because I still got, I still want to go and talk to other people, research a bit more. They will make you more confused. No, no, no. no. I will go, but I appreciate you not speaking to me. You know, I came over here. Can I, I add something within the salvation? So you believe that Jesus is just, right? Yeah. Right. And as long as you believe in Jesus, that he's died for your sins now, you're going to heaven, you believe, right? No, because when you truly love Jesus, you would want to follow, you would want to follow the rules and regulations. You believe went to heaven? Yeah, if you believe him, because if you truly believe him, you would want to do the good works. So, a murderer can come and kill a hundred people, right? But that's what I'm saying. They so, still believe in Jesus the same way that you believe in. No, I don't believe that. That's what I'm saying. I believe that if if you truly believe in Jesus, you would you wouldn't want to murder people. You wouldn't want to go out and sin. Because when you that's when you the belief of, of the actual Christian, the belief is just believe in Jesus alone. You get the you salvation. Will, get salvation. The, the teaching of Christianity, if you believe in Jesus and He died for your sins, they say He died He died for your sins. Yeah. That means you gain you gain the salvation. Okay. That means you gain the salvation. So basically, that's how it is. Which means Hitler and Al Capone and those ones who are criminals. I haven't that, heard a Christian say that to me before. That's a, if you teach the, the, the Christianity. Come yeah. 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 Anyway. But, but by the way, by the way, which are the, the verses, which is in, which gospel that the whole the whole page which is not in the Bible, yeah? which they said just I will give you just one thing, yeah? Which are the few verses which is in the and one of the gospels which is being taken out? Mark sixteen, the end of Mark sixteen. The end of Mark sixteen to where? Wait. The entire passage in the end of Mark 16 is extra. So, if you see here, so and that's why they said, and then they will, they will from Mark 16 all the way, they will jump to to another to to another chapter, which means a book, things being taken out, things being added to. Yeah. How we can how we can rely on it to be as a source for our salvation? And I will tell you and something. Also, first John 5, 7, yeah. Yeah, for example, the, yeah, John 5, 7. One of the things, listen to this. Yeah, in Sayyid Abu Listen to this, yeah? If you need a surgery, yeah, if you need, a, you know, a surgery, <laughs> what is more important, by the way? What's more important? Yeah. Your soul in the hereafter or, soul, your body, or your body now here? So, good. Listen to this. So, if your body needs a surgery here, mm. you came to me. I have no, I have no clue of doing any surgery. I don't know. But I will open a book. I will say, yeah, may, this book, it might be the good book to do the surgery. Will you surrender my, your body to me? Will you give me your body to cut? cut, no. cut? no, why not? <laughs> because my soul is more poor. Yes. So basically, what you are using is worse than this. Yeah. What you are using, you rely your soul and your salvation in the hereafter on something which is corrupted. Things being added, things being deducted. You know, and so it's not the same. It's not the Bible what it says. And the simple thing, yeah? The simplest thing. Jesus spoke Aramaic, yes? Yeah. Where is the Bible in Aramaic? It's Aramaic, Hebrew and Greek, I think. No. Where is it? Oh, I don't know. Nothing. So if Jesus spoke Aramaic, and he spoke, for example, Hebrew, mm. what are they? They found some patches, 100 and, 180 years after Jesus, written in Greek. And even just didn't speak Greek. Didn't even speak Greek. Well, uh, let alone if he spoke Greek. The full compiled one, yeah. 300 after, is in Latin. Latin. The Romans or something. Yeah. So, where is the original one? Yeah. Where is it? Where is it? 
And you, you rely your salvation on this. You say, yes, I accept this. It made sense. I understand it made sense because you were brought up like this. I wasn't brought up like this. Okay then. I was brought up like atheist and my family are Hindu. Okay then. Why don't you accept the truth and embrace it? We'll see in the future. Why not now? So I, I told you at the start, I still need to go and have conversations with other people. I wouldn't, if, when I, when I first started looking into Christianity, I didn't have a conversation with a Christian and then straight convert to Christianity. It took me a lot of time because religion is a big thing. So I can't just have a conversation with one thing, which you like, must agree on. Religion is a, a big thing. You can't just have a conversation with I one agree, person. I agree, I agree. Religion is a big then, thing. you know, straight away convert. That, I mean, that wouldn't be logical. That wouldn't make sense. Actually, sense. actually, if it makes it sense. It does make sense, but that's, that's from your perspective. So if I go to someone not else. My, no, not my perspective. Yeah, but, your perspective. Yeah, but when I, like, for example, you, you're giving me uh, verses that have been taken out and stuff. If I go to a Christian now and I ask him. Here, why we go? Yeah. No, 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 but I'm not saying you're wrong about that. But no, I'm just no, saying, I just want to go. You don't need to show me proof, but I'm just saying, you know what I mean? I want to go and have a conversation with other people. No, that's right. You know what I mean? That's, 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 that's what a logical person would do. The logical person will do. I will tell you what they will do. If they find the truth, they will follow the truth. Yeah. If the disciple of Jesus, they thought like you, he'll have no, no, no disciples. Yeah. You, but, know? But, you know? Because when, for, them, when for I, them, they found the truth. They found he's a prophet of God. He was sent by God. They saw the signs. They know this is the truth, they accepted it. They didn't have, oh, let me think. They didn't go, if the disciple think about it, put yourself in their position. Oh, let me speak to the Jews and the Romans to discuss about Jesus and then we'll come back to you. They example, never thought like this. When I have debates with my Muslim friends, all my friends are Muslim, if, if I trip them up on something and I say convert to Christianity, they would be like, no. Even though I've tripped them up on something, you know what I mean. But I didn't so trip you about that. I wouldn't. No, not trip me, but but you know what I mean. You know what I'm trying to say. I know, I know. So like, mean. if I'm having a conversation with him and I'm, and I tell him something about Christianity and he says it wouldn't make it, it makes sense, I wouldn't say convert to Christianity yeah. right now. I wouldn't like you know. Like at I this said, moment of point though, it makes sense to you, right? At this moment of point. Yeah. So why not accept it now? And later on, if anything that comes and refutes it, change your mind. Because nobody's forcing you to not change your mind. No. Yeah, accept that's true. Now, but I'd prefer to you know do my own research as well. Actually, I will tell you something, yeah? I will tell you something, yeah? Since you brought, you brought this. Yeah. Actually, none, no Muslim, no Muslim, the normal Muslim who study the Quran, who understand that Islam of the Quran, will say, you know what, it didn't make sense, you know, Islam didn't make sense to me, the Trinity makes sense to me. Actually, it's, it doesn't exist. There are some cases, by the way, some deviant cases, there are. But generally, in overall, someone who, the concept of God is one God in Islam, the concept of God is one in Islam, the concept of the prophets of God, that sent by God to convey the message of God, is so simple and straightforward. That's how it is. And it was like this before Jesus, it was like this after Jesus. But the, and the problem is, it's only during that time, people, they start changing things. Yeah. And that's actually the work of Paul. The work of Paul, he is the one who endorsed the idea of the, of the, of the, the, the Son of God and Jesus to be the Son of God, sent by God, and to die on the cross, etc. Okay, I understand. I thank you for talking to me. No problem. All what I want from you, the last thing yeah. to you, when you go home today, yeah. I want from you to do one thing before you leave. It. I want from you just to do one thing. Yeah. Go today. You, 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 know, you have a Quran, yes? Yeah, you just give yeah. it to me. Yeah? Do you have a Quran? Yeah? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah. There is the first chapter of the Quran here, if you read here. Look. By the way, Allah. Is the same in Aramaic Allah or Allahu? Yeah, yeah, I know. The that. same is in, in yeah. Hebrew, the same, yeah. So read this. Read just read it, just now, read it. Read it loud. No, I'm not going to read it loud. It's okay, by the way, it's not magic, I mean. <laughs> in, read it in the name of, of yeah, Allah, Allah, the entirely merciful, the specially merciful. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the world. The entirely merciful, the specially merciful, mm. the sovereign of the day of recompense. It is you we worship and you we seek for help or we ask for help. Guide us to the straight path. Yeah? Which path? To the straight path. The path of those who have earned uh, the, 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 to the straight path. The path of those upon whom you have bestowed your favor. Not, not, not the path of those who have earned your anger, no, or the path of those who are astray. Mm. You see here, you see this chapter. Do you know what is about, what is it about? You seeking God for guidance, mm. and the guidance in Islam is in three ways. That you want God to show us the, the right path, leading us to the right path, 
and keeping us steadfast upon right path. Example, if you ask me where is, for example, Marble Arch, it's there, yeah? That's showing you the path. Or I could take your hand, come with me to Marble Arch. That's leading you to the path. And if you try to go left and right, you say, no, stay here, this is the right path. That's keeping you steadfast upon this path. That is the guide. So we, we are, we recite this chapter at least 17 times a day, asking God to guide the step path. All what I want from you today when you go home, take a shower and sit down and say, oh God, I know you are there. I know you hear me. I know you see me. Be sincere in this. Guide me to the straight path, to the right path. That's all. Okay. Nothing else. And the straight path is the path of Jesus. Am I right? Yeah. And the path of Moses and the path of Abraham, all the prophets. Just ask God to show you the path. That's all. That's all what you want from me. Okay. All right, Trey? Is it a deal? Uh, yeah, I'll think about it. <laughs> what is that? No, no, I'm joking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? No problem, no problem. So if you find the truth and you say, this is what I believe is the truth, will you come next week to us to say, I actually... I if found I truly it. believe it, I will come. That's, that's my promise to you. Okay, we are looking forward to see you, inshallah, next week. Maybe. All right? You never know. You never the know. truth to be embraced, inshallah. All right, my brother. Salaam alaikum. All right, take care. Anyway, we ask Allah Azul to guide, you know, to guide him to the to Islam. Subhanallah, it was close and it was reasonable, but sometimes people need time. And actually, we discovered he kind of retracted. <laughs> but anyway. It's okay, inshallah. Ta'ala, then the guidance from Allah Azza wa Jalla, not from us. We ask Allah to guide him. Amen. And keep us in your du'a. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.